Hello my friends and welcome back. It's time for more Avatar, but this time something different. It's Avatar The Legend of Korra, episode 1 of season 1. So I had a fantastic time with The Last Airbender and I'm really excited to get into this one. Now I know that people are telling me that it's not, don't expect like season 4 of Avatar The Last Airbender. It's not The Last Airbender. It's not as good as that, but for me, I don't, I usually don't have a problem with letting things speak for themselves. Like I try to not have preconceived notions and I try to not uh, burden anything, a game or a show or a movie. I try not to burden it with uh, expectations of like what it's supposed to be, like what came before. Like, I remember when I watched The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I really, really enjoyed that movie. But, like, it's not as... Like, when compared to the book, maybe it wasn't that good, you know, the movie. But for me, I still really enjoyed it. And I'm thinking I'm going to try to do the same with this. I tend to be pretty good at doing that. And I will try to do that with this as well. And not, not saddle it with unnecessary baggage. So I'm really excited for this and it's going to be great to get more Avatar because I really, really enjoy the world in which it takes place. I really like the characters we've met so far in it. It's talked about a good amount of more complicated topics. Like it's not, it has gone from being simple to something more complex. Like, it was fun in the last season, in season three, when we went and infiltrated the Fire Nation. And like, it's not black and white. It is, there's shades of gray. It's not so simple as Fire Nation evil, you know? I am on Patreon, if you're interested. Uh, I do unedited full episode reactions on Patreon. And on Patreon, I am roughly one season ahead. So now when this is hitting Patreon, I'm also like starting on season three on YouTube and in season in season three episode two of Avatar The Last Airbender there was the dance party when they were having like they were having their little row row fight the power moment with uh, inviting kids for a dance party and like they're sowing the seeds of rebellion and finding out that well the kids of the Fire Nation are not bad people or like the Fire Nation individuals are not bad people just because they're Fire Nation. They are, it's more complicated than that. And I enjoy that. That's that kind of nuance. It's not really to be expected from something that is aimed for, that was intended for kids, even though it works for all ages. So I like that. And I love the world. I love the universe. And I can't wait to get more of it. So with that said, Let's start our journey through the legend of Korra. When I was a boy, my father, Avatar Aang, told me the story of how he oh. and his friends heroically ended the Hundred Year War. Yes, that they did. In peace and harmony. They named oh my. the capital of this great land. Oh Republic my. City. A lot of things happened. But sadly, his time in this world came to an end. And like the cycle of the seasons, Aww. the cycle of the Avatar began anew. I bet it did. The White Lotus has honored my family. Is this the southern tribe? I'm guessing. Welcome. We have investigated many claims. <laughs> what happened here, I wonder? What makes you so sure your daughter is the one? I'm the Avatar! <laughs> you gotta deal with it! <laughs> That's why they're such a mess. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she is really talented, huh? <laughs> Oh, that's slick. She's strong. She lacks restraint. Yeah, she is. 
Oh, the lady on the right had Katara's hairstyle. Right? She had the thingies at least. Is it? Is celebrating. Three elements down. I mean, Katara would be pretty old You're by now. Ahead of yourself as usual, Korra. And she is from the Southern Tribe. But completely ignored the spiritual side. The Avatar must master both. I haven't ignored it. It just oh. doesn't come as easy to me. Do you believe she's ready, Master Katara? Yes. If anyone can teach you. Oh, it is Katara. <sighs> A lot of time passed, huh? You should have seen it. I kicked some firebender butt and I passed. Tenzin will be here in a few Ooh, days. Oh, that is a big dog. <laughs> Bear dog. <laughs> or something. <laughs> Very small hind legs, though. Naga, go. That a girl. Go, go, go. Oh. Is Naga our new um, Appa? I wonder. As I've been telling you for the last 15 minutes, we are finally here. Excitable. Oh, mother, I can't Very tell excitable. you how happy I am to see you. Please help me. Oh, this is the guy who did the voiceover then. I'm assuming. It's so good to see all of you. Grand Grand, I've been reading all about your old adventures. Oh, Katara is Grand Grand now. Well, Janora, it's an incredible tale. Grand Grand, you look old. How old are you? And what? Tell me, for God's sakes. And then can you make the snowman move with water bedding and chase us? Wouldn't that be fun, huh? Wouldn't it? Emma, let me help you. Careful now. <laughs> Excitable kids, huh? The baby's strong. Oh, more I grandkids. I see another airbender in your future. All I want is. We certainly need more of those. <laughs> Look at you, so big and strong. Wait, is that Appa? Here's the thing. Uh, I I can get I can buy that uh, uh, that Ang married Katara. They had kids. Kid, those kids were Airbenders. They could have been Waterbenders, I guess. But I guess I mean we needed more Airbenders because Ang was the last Airbender. That's the whole. <laughs> that was the subtitle of the of the show. So he was the last Airbender. So that makes sense that they can produce more Airbenders together. Appa wasn't he the last Sky Bison? In that case, how were, would there be more Sky ben Sky Bison? So is this Appa they're riding on, or are there new Sky Bison, or is Appa really really old? Maybe they'll tell us. We're only visiting for the night. Then I have to return to Republic City. But, no, you're supposed to move here. Uh, you're supposed to teach me. No, you get to come with, come with him. Why are you making me wait? I have a responsibility to Republic City. I'm one of its leaders, and the situation there is very unstable right now. Oh, is it now? I sense conflict brewing. If you can't stay here, then I'll go back to Republic City with you. It's perfect. Yes. Absolutely not. The city is far too dangerous. Oh, it'll be fine. I know this is difficult to accept, but it's not the right time for you to come to the city. Whatever. That means it's the perfect time to come to the city, so we can have problems that need resolving. Oogie? Yep, yep. No, Oogie. So there are more Sky Bison. How did they swing that, I wonder? Were there some in hiding somewhere? I mean, the dragons were supposed to be extinct as well, so... <laughs> she's running away. Of course she is. Nice night for an escape, isn't it? Yeah, Katara's not stupid. I have to find my own path as the Avatar. She understands. Oh, I'm tearing up a little, just seeing her. Yeah, my friends are gone. Oh, Sokka's dead. For you and your Goodbye, Korra. <sighs> I'm tearing up because just seeing Katara, it's like she's alone, Aang is dead, Sokka's dead apparently as well. She's been through a lot. But she got to live in peace for most of it, I guess.
Naga, we're here. Did she sneak on? Thanks for the ride. A lot wow. has happened technology-wise. I've never seen so many Sato movies. Sato, was he the inventor from the Air Temple? You ready for a little swim, girl? Okay, okay. No, I was First, ready for food. <laughs> Yeah, really are. We'll take one of everything, please. That'll be 20 you want. Uh, I don't have any money. <laughs> then what good are you to me? No, <laughs> poor thing. How old is she, I wonder? Uh, say, think I can get one of them tasty smelling fishies? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Cool. Funny homeless dude. So there are a lot of you out here? I thought everyone in the city was living it up. <laughs> no, the cost of progress, my friend. You best get out. Hey, I can't just do what you want. There are rules and regulations. For too long, the bending elite of this city have forced non-benders to live as lower class citizens. Join Amon. Just love to knock me off this platform with some water bending, huh? I'm seriously thinking about it. This is what's wrong with the city. Yeah, you're just proving his point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah boo. Well, I'm not oppressing anyone. <laughs> you should get moving, young lady. It isn't safe. Oh, what's this now? Mr. Chan, please tell me. Oh, you have gangsters. My money, or else I give me the money, or else. Or else what, hoodlum? Yeah, she'll teach you guys a lesson or two. Since you're obviously fresh off the boat, let me explain. Yeah, let me explain how things work around here. You're the only ones who are going to need a hospital. And for your sake, I hope there's one nearby. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Why don't you come and find out? Well, I mean, the fight we saw in the beginning, she kind of whipped everyone's ass. Nice. What yeah. Just happened? Did she just Avatar. Burned? Yes. She did. After waterbending. You know what that means? And then... Can she fire Ben too? Could she be? She really could be. You're not getting away. <laughs> um. You're in trouble now, Cora. Cool metal benders. Ooh, fancy. There's more of them now, huh? I caught the bad guys for you, officers. <sighs> Arrest them! Yes, all of them. You're under arrest too. <gasps> yeah, I saw that coming a mile away. <laughs> Those are the bad guys. Yes, over but there. you were, were vandalizing. The From the looks of it, you smashed up a lot more than that. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with Cora. <laughs> <laughs> I love the aesthetic. Yeah, there it is. Oh my word. No, be nice. Multiple counts of destruction of private and city property. Not to mention evading arrest. But I couldn't just sit by and do nothing. It's my duty to help people. See, I'm the Avatar. Oh, I am well aware. <laughs> yeah, can't just do what you want. No, you still have to be a law-abiding citizen. Whoever's in charge, you're talking to. Otherwise, you're making I'm the case Bay for Fong. the equalists. Wait, Beifong, Lin Beifong? That's ancient history, and it's got no, deadly stuff. No, it's not the ancient the history. Right now. I got a little sidetracked on my way to see you. Lin, you are looking radiant. <laughs> We'll be heading back to the South Pole immediately, where she will stay put. She will do no such so thing. Kind. Get her out of my city. 
Always a pleasure, Lynn. Let's go, Cora. This is making me rem This is... We'll talk about it later. Katara agreed with me that I should come. She said my destiny is in Republic City. Don't bring my mother into this. Look. <laughs> Lost his cool for a second, huh? <laughs> I saw a lot of the city today, and it's totally out of whack. Mm. I understand now why you need to stay. Oh, here's the kids with their gliders. I have to go home now. Oh No, Tenson's gonna change his mind. He's gonna call her back. I thought I should put off your training in order to uphold his legacy. But you are his legacy. Yeah, you clearly need help. Because this place is a mess. You're the best! Yay! <laughs> Holy moly, she's strong. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm Cora. Oh, fish out of water much? <laughs> uh, yes, I am definitely here to Too stay, many questions, for God's sakes. I, I don't exactly have a plan yet. I look forward to serving you. Aww. I'm so happy to be She's here. a natural. The Avatar has arrived early. This is the leader like of the Equalists, huh? Our plans. Yeah. Okay. So that was episode one, and that was nice, but very, very different. Okay, here's the thing that I that like I this kept going through my mind the entire time when we were in Republic City, and it's like this makes me think of Tengen Topa Gurren Lagann, which I referenced in the most recent, as of filming this most recent episode on on YouTube on. Um, which was episode two, where I titled the YouTube video Row Row Fight the Power. That's from Tengen Topa Gurren Lagan, which is an awesome anime that you need to watch if you haven't seen it. If you have not seen it, then spoiler alert. Because there, in Tengen Topa Gurren Lagan, there is a time skip. And time moves, moves forward, and humanity has made great strides. Like, before that, it was very simple. It was like, fight, fight the bad guys, basically. Like in The Last Airbender, like with Aang in the gang. And now we move forward and things are more complicated. There are thugs and society, civilization has advanced at a marked rate. Like, look at this. It's like a, it's, it's, I mean, this place is like a, a proper metropolis, which we didn't have. Like we had Ba Sing Se, which was a big city, but Ba Sing Se was more old fashioned. Like this is this city is completely different. This is more like a modern metropolis, not um, not something from like two hundred years ago. And and it's the same kind of thing where like the problems are percep public perception and like uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of the same themes from Gurren Lagan. And I think Gurren Lagan came after, but it doesn't really matter. I don't know before. Maybe, maybe if, I don't know when it came out and when this came out, but it doesn't matter. But it's a lot of the same, same themes. And these people like, like Aang and the gang, like this is not what they, it's not what they do. They fight bad guys, you know? <laughs> and in Gurren Lagan, the, the leaders of the city who were used to fighting bad guys, they were doing very badly at this whole bureaucracy and like, uh, being politically correct and like like in like in this in, in case with Cora when she was kicking those uh, triad members as butts and like she was causing damages and like no you can't do that and you can't can't go around being a vigilante no you call the police and stay out of it don't get involved and it's like it's all the rules are in the way and she's going to have to learn to live within those rules if she wants to stay here or maybe she, no, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, she is going to have to learn to live and do what she needs to do as the Avatar within the boundaries of these rules. Because what are the options? Like, if she goes around being a vigilante and bringing what she calls justice to people, because, I mean, it probably will be justice, but that's like, it's a definitional question, is 
what one person thinks is just might not be what another person thinks is just. And it's just going to feed the, it's just going to give more fuel for the equalists who are like maintaining that the benders are oppressing the normal, normal people. I like this angle. I like this angle a lot. Because I raised that question a number of times, uh, I think, or a couple of times at least, during my watch through of The Last Airbender, that progress has kind of been stifled because of benders. That if you can do all of these things so simply with magic, then why innovate? Why try to like figure out... Why try to invent new flying machines if you can fly with uh, with those gliders, for instance? Why come up with en- combustion engines and like why bother with making like trains? Because they have trains. They just had airbend, no earthbenders who were just pushing the train along. There was no reason to innovate. There was innovation in bending, but bending is, is exclusionary. It's not something that everyone can learn. You're born with it. So there is like a ruling class. And yeah, I love the I love this angle. I really do. And I'm really, really excited to get into this now. Because it's ve- like already you can tell this is very different compared to The Last Airbender. And I'm excited to see what happens next. So with that said, I am done for today. I thank you very much for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Peace.